today I like to talk with you about the Yves Saint Laurent Touch Eclat and two of its dupes and I got here the L'Oreal Magic Lumi highlighter and I got the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touche Camouflage Lumineux whatever if I said that right anyhow so I've been trying these now for a good month you know two days this two days this two days this and all over to really have a good opinion about that and it's really important to remember that we all have different skin we all have different needs you know some skin is dry some is oily so what might be my winner of these three might not be your winner so that's why I want to mention again my skin is oily but also I do live in Florida it is humid so it's probably always different uh, for my skin what I need to use than if you live in Alaska and it's cold and your skin is dry so I cannot tell you for how many years I saw always in magazines the Yves Saint Laurent Touch Eclat and I was always like, oh, I want to get that, I want to try that. Because since so many years it's getting awards and reader choices, all that stuff. So I was very, very curious and I finally got it. I said to myself, Sissy, you are a beauty blogger. Now get yourself some Yves Saint Laurent. So I finally gave in and got this one. And I'm really impressed by it. I really like it. Uh, what is so great about it is it becomes one with my skin. Like I, I like to use it right under my eyes and then I just pat it in with my... F I'm sorry for showing you <laughs> the finger, but then I pat it slowly in and I find it really becomes one with my skin and you cannot see anything and it brightens up the under eye area very nice and also I would say like it makes you feel more refreshed, more like you had a good night's sleep and more awake. So really enjoying this stuff, but I have to say for me after a couple hours this one creases. Like I didn't even know I have a wrinkle there, but apparently I have right here one and after a couple hours this makes it visible. On the other hand, it is so easy to get it smoothed in again, like with a clean finger again and I pat it again in super quick super easy and it becomes again one with my skin so i am enjoying this one let's move over to the maybelline dream lumi you can see already uh, with the name they really try to make it sound all diff uh, similar so they really try to make a dupe themselves and what's different about the l'oreal and the maybelline is these you twist, they are twisters and the uh, YSL is a button you have to press. I have to say I find it easier to twist than to do that. So, but of course the packaging looks so much more nice, but the L'Oreal tried a little bit the trick. Anyhow, let's go again to the Maybelline. Uh, I'm like all over the place, I'm sorry. Uh, I find this is different than the Yves Saint Laurent. You cannot say it is a dupe. I felt more it is like a concealer. It has for me not, you don't get a luminous look and it won't like highlight you. And I feel if it feels a little bit greasy, which I don't have with the YSL. The YSL does not shine, you know, it's like matte and really one with your skin. And this for me feels like a very good concealer, more like a foundation with very high coverage. So I like the coverage and you can achieve also a great look under the eyes because it will really conceal everything but it is more 
on the greasy side. So these are my thoughts about that one. So if you have dry skin, maybe maybe that might be just it if you if you use the Maybelline one. Let's move over to the L'Oreal. And I feel like this applies very easily. It's again a twisting one. The brushes, by the way, from all of them look pretty, pretty similar. All really very similar, almost the same length, so they really tried to, to fake that, that YSL. So the L'Oreal again, I noticed the creasing after a couple hours, just like with the YSL, also got a little bit creasing and this even more than the Maybelline feels for me very shiny and very greasy, but on the other hand, I don't mind that much if it's in, under the eye area because it gives you also kind of um, an effect like yeah, you're radiant there and you're not dried out or something, but it is completely different from the YSL. So also, you need to know the YSL costs forty dollar, and the L'Oreal costs almost ten, I would say, and the Maybelline I think was like seven dollar. But keep in mind that the YSL has two point five milliliter inside and the L'Oreal and the Maybelline have only uh, 1.5 so there is less inside so keep that in mind too but my winner of these I have to say but also because of the price so if it's just the price I would go for the Maybelline if I don't care about the price the YSL is doing a great job but the only drawback is the creasing. Both of these guys creased on me, so I would say if you're older than 35, then these do crease, on me at least, I don't know. I mean, that can be really different with anybody, but I did not have that much of a creasing with the Maybelline. And I think what I have to do next time is choose with the Maybelline an even lighter color, even lighter than you think you are and then you will have maybe the same result like the YSL. I'm going to check that out. Once these are all empty I'm going to get the Maybelline an even lighter. So I'm sorry I cannot really make one of these on a throne and say that is the real winner because I actually enjoy using them all. But, yeah, because of the price, I would just probably go for the Maybelline. The difference is not that big of a deal and that amazing to choose the YSL. But, I mean, it's just the shopping experience to buy a YSL. You just feel so luxurious and if you just go to Walmart or Target or whatever and get this one, you don't have that feeling and you don't have the packaging which you get, you know, that cute little box and all that stuff. So yeah, this is not really a result which which says like this is the winner, but this is my honest experience. Enjoy them all, but I guess the Maybelline is my tiny little winner with only one step in front of it because of the price. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have tried any of these or another dupe. I heard Estee Lauder has another dupe. I think a lot of companies come now out with these kind of things, which is just so convenient is the applying that there is right away that brush, so that makes it really easy. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen.